Odonate. Odonate? Odonate? Odonate. Is it Japanese, perhaps? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just horsing around. Whoa! What happened here? Holy moly! Oh, I clicked the chart. I didn't mean to click the chart. Actually, it's weird. It said it's, it said it's unavailable. Never seen that before. Okay, so it's been around since 2017 or 2000, 2018 maybe, because it seems like it came around end of 2017. I mean, it hasn't been terrible. It took a drop. It took a heavy drop back in August, and then another heavy drop this March. I want to see what those two were about. That is March fifteenth. That happened. Enters oversold territory, really? Oversold, can it recover? In a good position to invest in, um... Why, why it crashed, yes, that's what I want to know. Seventy-eight percent. As of 11.38 on Monday. And this was when? March 22nd? That, that, that lines up, yes. Yep. Actually, that's more than 78%, even, I think. Uh, Drop Camera Tower announced that it announced it's discontinuing the develop of... Tessitaxel and will wind down the operations of the company. Does that mean just straight up going out of business? Does that mean that it's not even going to try another operation again? Plans to work with patients in his clinical study to transition to other therapies. After that, the company will shut down at some point in the near future. Oh, so oh, so this is this isn't even going to be a company anymore. Um, okay. I mean, that's... Okay. That kind of makes me not even want to look at any of anything else. That's kind of all, that's kind of all I had to know. Um, but I did say I wanted to see what that August drop was about. Let's see if I can find that. How long ago... How, August was almost a year... Because July now... August was almost a year ago, so that would be... Much, much further down, if I can get past all these lawsuits. Gee, this is pages and pages and pages of just lawsuits. I mean, it makes sense because a lot of a lot of people probably lost a lot of money in that August drop, but then a lot of people lost a lot of money in the March drop too. This is why this is why you gotta be very wary of clinical stage companies. Sometimes they can do something amazing, and sometimes they can screw you over. Actually, I want to take a closer look at this chart. I want to read this first. Oversold territory. Well, yeah, of course it's oversold. They're shutting down. They said as much. Why would you want to buy something that's shutting down? I feel like this was auto-generated. This was auto-generated because I don't know why Zax would bother with a company that's supposed to be shutting down.
So now that they've decided to shut down operations, this has been fluctuating between three and four dollars. Do I, do, I, do I want to say that that you can buy here just to take advantage of the slight fluctuations? Um... No. No, that no, the, no, that's kind of that, that that's kind of more risky than it's worth. That's kind of more risky than it's worth, and there are so so many more better places for your money. That's just unquestionable sell. I don't think I don't think I gotta explain explain why they're they're literally going out of business. They're literally going out of business. They have said as much. So why so why would you buy it? Unless you think some miracle is going to happen in which they have a sudden revitalization. Um, but that is that is putting all of your eggs into a strategy of hope. If your only strategy for a stock go to go up is hope, that's not a strategy and you shouldn't do it. That's, that's, my, that's my two cents anyway.